afternoon, the balance between the health crisis and the economic crisis of COVID-19 revisited. And while the state posted promising job numbers, the number of COVID-19 infections remains steady. Here's a look at the latest statistics from the Arkansas Department of Health. 648 new positive test results went in the last 24 hours right here in Arkansas. Currently, we have 6,633 active cases throughout the state. Our hospitalizations are down six, bringing us to 464 total. Of those, 97 remain on a ventilator. We also learned today of additional deaths as a result of delayed data showing an increase of 12, bringing the total deaths to 353. 24 hours after issuing a statewide mask mandate, Governor Asa Hutchinson seeming optimistic in the state's fight against the pandemic, citing a downward trend in the rolling seven-day average and those lower hospitalizations that I mentioned just a second ago. Today's conference also highlighting some new tools to help track and understand the data we sift through on a daily basis. Our Jay Burr joining us now to break things down. Jay. Uh, yeah, Kevin, at the heart of this COVID-19 battle here in Arkansas is data. And you mentioned a bunch of numbers. We're just off the top of the show here. But where are cases popping up? How many cases? And then you have the positivity rates. All those things are used to create plans on how to battle COVID-19 here in Arkansas, but it is now available on a citywide level. In fact, the Arkansas Center for Health Improvement has partnered with the Department of Health to be able to make that available to municipalities here in Arkansas. Now, there are approximately 600 cities listed, and from a percentage of population being infected, there are about actually 100 cities ahead of Little Rock in terms of this pandemic. Now, the goal from this was to allow cities and towns in Arkansas to develop more localized plans to battle COVID-19, and it also allows them the ability to actually show their constituents there is COVID-19 in our borders. We've had really great calls with mayors and council members across the state. And through the Q&A that came forward was a need to be able to have those mayors be able to say to their constituents, COVID is in our town. When the reports come out at the county level, a small town mayor can't, doesn't have the power to be able to say, we have it in our town. Now, ACHI will not list cities with less than 10 cases in order to protect patients' identities within those cities. Now, it actually has been such an interest in this type of data that the ACHI website actually crashed earlier today. And in fact, it's still undergoing some maintenance because of those high traffic volumes. But they have now posted those numbers for those and those list of cities on their Facebook page. And once we get the, that website up and running, we'll be sure to pass that along to you. But for now, from the state capitol, Jay Burt. Fox 16 News. Thank you, Jay.